Alright, so in this video, I'll be teaching you how to solve this face turning octahedron puzzle. Um, this one that I'm holding is a Mario Brain one with Cube Smith stickers on it. So, you may have a different one like the Lane Lane or Dying Thing one with different colors on it, but if it's an octahedron shape like what I have right now and it's face turning, then the solution will be the same. So, for my solution, it's a quick, easy solution. Really easy to memorize and understand it. And I know that there are many other tutorials online on how to solve this puzzle, but this one, uh, this solution is very easy to memorize. What I memorize is um, this sequence. Three, no, it goes four, one, two. Four, one, two. That's what I remember. First step is four colored pieces, which are these corners. And then the second step is putting in these one colored pieces. And then the last step is putting in these two colored pieces. Just think of it that way. Um, and there's several interesting facts that may not notice, but it's a pattern that is really, uh, interesting that I found out. It's like, these two colors, um, these two colors, and these two colors, like, the black, green, white, and the blue, they all, like, the center pieces, um, these center pieces, especially, can only switch with those, um, colors, not the center pieces cannot be switched with an adjacent, like, the a side that's right next to it. It has to be across from it, from the point. So now that you understood that, now let's get into the scrambling of it. I'll get back to you once it's fully scrambled. Alright, so, this puzzle's fully scrambled. Now, the very first step is to try to find two corner pairs like this. If you can't, and if you find a corner pair that's like this, where this color matches this color, but on this side, these two colors don't match, well then, keep on looking, see if you can find one of these. If you cannot find any matched up corners, well then, turn it until corners match up. But since I have this, um, all matched up, um, next step, is to look for the remaining, um, white or orange, um, corner. And I found this orange corner right here. So, I have to bring it over here. But since it's in this quick spot, where well, it needs to just one turn over, then that's good. The next step is to look at the colors that on the bottom layer corners. Um, you have to have the solved corners on the bottom layer. Look at the colors that's on the bottom layer, and then look at the corners on top, and see what colors are what. So, I see that black should be on top. So, all four, all three of these corners, um, have black on it. That's what I'm looking for. See what colors that all three of these corners on the top layer have in common. Um, and then, what I do is, find the corner that's correctly oriented up, and place it in the correct spot, so that, see this white, black, red, and purple corner is in the correct spot. So, what I do is, um, hold it like that, with the solved corners right over here, and what I do is, this, um, which, it's a bit tricky, but you get the idea. I should move around the corners um, a bit to get it all solved. Um, so, if you do that sequence that I did, it'll work. And then, 
after that, you'll need to rotate the top layer to get the corners in the correct spot. Yeah, like so. So now that you have all the corners on, um, this next step is to placing in the center um, piece, in, which is the one colored piece. In. Um, and as what I mentioned before I um, scrambled it in the brief intro about the puzzle, is that um, certain center pieces can be found on certain sides so like this side is supposed to be green and I cannot find would not expect to find any green um center pieces on this side this side or this side or some of the others like especially this side that's directly right up opposite of it um so in this case I need to place in this green corner, green center actually, and this black piece needs to go down here. In this, this case, this next, this algorithm that I'm going to be teaching you has a sub part, like the first section of the algorithm, and then the, there's one, two algor two moves that you're going to be needing to know that's like few parts of the algorithm is the main part of this solution while some of the other algorithms are just a little bit part of it so what you want to do is M like hold it like this where you have the, the where it's like this and move this M slice this ML slice up and then do R, U, prime, R prime, U prime, R, U prime, R prime, U prime, and then the ML slice back down. So, yeah, in this next case, um, so let's say you need to switch, here's another case. You need to do this one up here, but you need to get a different piece. There's another way to do it. Do the same ML slide. Then R, U, R prime, U, R, U, R prime, U, and then ML prime. Basically, if you do R, U, um, that would rotate this entire, these six pieces clockwise and then do R U prime which rotates these six pieces counterclockwise. So next part is bringing this one up to here do R U R prime U R U prime R prime U bring it down. Just continue working on getting its these center pieces in place with the algorithms that I given. Um yeah. So yeah. And here's another case what you need need to learn. It's like you have you're holding it like this where the triangles it's looking like this where you have this piece over here and needs to go up layer do M R um, and then, R, U prime, yeah, the, the basic, um, cycle move where you cycle these pieces, um, yeah. So, continue doing that. Um, and here's a case that may come across where this piece needs to go up here and none of the ML moves um, won't work so what you need to do is rotate this white side um, clockwise or counterclockwise either way works but 
better um, to do counterclockwise. Make sure that you know where on the the side that this centerpiece, like for example, this centerpiece needs to go to the black side. So you need to um, rotate it so that the when you do the M move, um, the the piece um, is up here with another black centerpiece. So you're gonna be replacing this centerpiece with this centerpiece and placing this centerpiece in this spot with this um, piece. So basically you're switching doing a three cycle with this piece, this piece, and this piece. Basically you're doing that cycle. And then now after you got that back in, rotate this this side that you um, counterclockwise, the side that you rotated before you did the ML, um, or the, that cycle thing. Turn it back so that the corners are all solved in the correct spot. And just continue working around from there um, until you got all the six, I mean, all, all of the center pieces in the correct spot. Yeah. Almost done. Only got a few more pieces to go. Actually, two more. I need to get these two um, in place. So now, for this final step um, stage, is where you need to rot what you're doing on this last stage is rotating these six pieces um, either clockwise or counterclockwise. And what that does is when you rotate these clockwise or counterclockwise, these um, single center pieces um, will rotate also, but um, when you rotate them, they, um, the, the look of it will make it look like they're always solved once you do the rotation of them. And that will make these edges rotate, uh, clockwise or counterclockwise. So, in this case, I need to rotate this, um, edge piece over here. So, that's a counterclockwise rotation. So, that's an R, U prime, R prime. U prime R U prime R prime U prime. So that gets that into place. And in this case, clockwise the clockwise um um rotation algorithm is R U R prime U R U R prime U. So continue doing that until you can get as many center many, many of these edges solved before you get to some other problems which I'll explain um like right now there's gonna be a bit of trickiness that I will get around and show you all how to fix in certain cases So, in a case like this, where this um, yellow green edge needs to go here, and what I would do is rotate it into the green, onto the green side. And since that this was, this purple white edge was in the correct spot, or it's all, but I would moving this into place, but moving this out of the way, and after I fix this one, I'll fix this edge. But, and, 
as right now, if I do the clockwise rotation um, algorithm, it would move all three of these edges, and that will disrupt this edge, which will not need to be rotated. So, in this case, I'll be moving it out of place. Since it got moved out of place, so I can now have free access to rotate these pieces and not disturb any of the other pieces. And now, I got another case where if I rotate this back to here, this piece would be end up over here, which is not in the correct spot. So I need to move this edge out of place um, once again. And I'm keeping track of where that edge is. Now I need to rotate these edges back into place. So, I got that in. So now I need to rotate. Now I could go ahead and do this, where I rotate this back into place and get it rotated, and I'll show you what I could, I'm going to do. Rotating that in. So since it would need to go clockwise, and what I will do is rotate this counterclockwise, Um, bring this edge piece into there. Um, clockwise, um, rotate this edge. In. And then go back over to this white side. Um, what I have a case here is where these two edges, this, they need to be swapped. But what I do is moving this out of the way. Taking this edge piece, putting it back in. And then take this edge piece, um, swapping it over here. And then do a clockwise rotation. And I got all of it solved except for these last three cents, last three edges. And in this case, I would need a clockwise um, rotation. There you go. You finally solved it. But there are several different cases that I didn't end up getting. But um, I'll show you what they are. So, in this case, where I need to rotate these three edges, and then these three edges. Um, but, funny thing is, these need to be rotated counterclockwise. Um, and I would do this, and then these need to be rotated clockwise, counterclockwise. So, in this case, what I do is, I do R... U, R, U, R, U, R, U, R, U. So, if you have case where, um, these three centers need to be rotated in counterclockwise or clockwise, then these three, um, edges need to be rotated clockwise or counterclockwise, what you would do is, if it needs to rotate clockwise, you do it, rotate this down, or I. And if it goes clockwise, you do it like that. It's just, you have to f mess around with it to get it right. But, I hope this help, this tutorial helps you on how to solve the face turning octahedron. Um, if you don't have one, and just browsing through YouTube and just watching this, I highly recommend you buy this puzzle. Um, this is one of those really fun puzzles. And pretty unique. And definitely a big 
um, different challenge than what you would um, get on a normal 3x3 three three because of a little extra stuff that's in it. Yeah, I hope this tutorial helped you.